Hey guys, Dr. Sharon here and welcome to Need Buddy MCQ where I provide you with daily biology MCQs for your practice before your upcoming NEET exam and the unit we are covering today is on your screen. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number one. Name the pulmonary disease in which the alveolar surface area involved in the gas exchange is drastically reduced due to the damage to the alveolar walls. Pulmonary disease in which the alveolar surface area is reduced due to damage to the alveolar walls. Asthma, pleurisy, emphysema or pneumonia. The correct answer is option C, emphysema. In emphysema, the surface area of the alveoli is drastically reduced and the major cause of emphysema is smoking. Question number two. The nerve centers which control the body temperature and the urge for eating are contained in hypothalamus, pons, cerebellum or thalamus. These all are parts of brain. In which part of brain is the center for control of body temperature and urge for eating is located? The correct answer is option A in the hypothalamus. Question number three. If due to some injury, the chordae tendine of the tricuspid valve of human heart is partially non-functional, what will be the immediate effect? The flow of blood into the aorta will be slowed down. The pacemaker will stop working. Blood will tend to flow back into the left atrium. The flow of blood into the pulmonary artery will be reduced. Due to some injury, if the chordate tendine of the tricuspid valve, tricuspid valve is located in the right side of the heart, right atrium, right atrium and the ventricle, is partially non-functional, what will be the immediate effect of this non-functionality? So the correct answer is option D, the flow of blood from the pulmonary artery will be reduced. Now understand this, right ventricle pumps blood into the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary artery carries this blood to the lungs and from lungs the pulmonary vein will bring the blood into the left side. So if our right side car tricuspid valve is non-functional, tricuspid valve separates atria, right atria from the right ventricle. If the tricuspid valve is non-functional, then every time the ventricle, right ventricle pumps blood, some of the blood will go back into the atria. Why? Because the tricuspid valve is not closing completely, right? So some of the blood will go back into the right atria and the amount of blood flow into the pulmonary artery will be reduced. So the correct answer is option D. The flow of blood into the pulmonary artery is reduced. Question number four. A health disorder that results from deficiency of thyroxine in adults and characterized by a low metabolic rate, increase in body weight and tendency to retain water in tissues is simple goiter, mixedema, cretinism or hypothyroidism. Deficiency of thyroxine. The correct answer is option B that is mixedema. Question number 5. Sertoli cells are found in ovary and they secrete progesterone, adrenal cortex and they secrete adrenaline, seminiferous tubules and they provide nutrition to germ cells, pancreas and they secrete cholecystokinin. Sertoli cells are found in. The correct answer is option C. They are found in seminiferous tubules and they provide nutrition to the germ cells. That is the developing sperm. Question number 6. Listed below are four respiratory capacities from A to D and four jumbled respiratory volumes. So residual volume, vital capacity, inspiratory reserve volume and inspiratory capacity. The numbers given next to them are jumbled. Which one of the following is correct matching of the two capacities and volumes? You can see the options for yourself. The correct answer is option three. That is inspiratory capacity is 3500 ml and residual volume is 1200 ml, 1200 ml. Question number seven. Identify the correct set which shows the name of the enzyme from which it is secreted and substrate upon which it acts. Tylen secreted from intestine acts on maltose 
or tylen secreted from pancreas acts on lipid pepsin secreted from stomach wall acts on casein or chymotrypsin secreted from salivary gland acts on lactose so the sequence is same enzyme source and on substrate it is acting so which of all three is are matching correctly so the correct answer is option c is correct pepsin is secreted by the stomach wall and acts on the casein question number 8 which one of the following hormones though synthesized elsewhere is stored and released by the master gland this hormone is synthesized else, elsewhere but it is stored and released by the master gland melanocyte stimulating hormone anti diuretic hormone luteinizing hormone or prolactin so the correct answer is option b anti diuretic hormone so what do we mean by the master gland here we are talking about the pituitary gland because pituitary gland secretes all the stimulating hormone so pituitary gland is the master gland and anti diuretic hormone is synthesized by the hypothalamus however stored and released by the pituitary anti diuretic hormone and oxytocin right oxytocin and anti diuretic hormone also called as vasopressin these are two hormones that are synthesized by hypothalamus however it is stored and released by pituitary question number 9 which one of the following is correct serum equals blood plus fibrinogen lymph equals plasma plus rbc plus wbc blood equals plasma plus rbc plus wbc or plasma equals blood minus lymphocytes which of the following is correct so the correct answer is option c is correct blood is equivalent to plasma plus rbc plus wbc question number 10 which one of the following is correct difference between rods and cones in our retina rods distribution they are more concentrated in the center of retina cones they are evenly distributed all over retina rods visual activity of rods is high visual activity of cones is low visual pigment contained in rods is iodopsin and in cones is rhodopsin overall function of rods is vision in poor light of cones is colored vision and detailed vision in bright light you have to find out the correct difference between the two so the correct answer is option 4 is the correct difference rods are meant for vision in poor light and cones are meant for the color vision and detailed vision in bright light all the above three differences the options 1 2 and 3 are incorrect because rhodopsin is the pigment that rods contain visual activity of rods are lower than the cones and rods are distributed equally over retina whereas cones are concentrated in the center of the retina question number 11 a gymnast is able to balance his body upside down even in total darkness because of vestibular apparatus pectoral membrane organ of corti or cochlea correct answer is option a vestibular apparatus which is enabling the gymnast to balance its body question number 12 sliding filament theory can be best explained as actin and myosin shorten and slide past each other actin and myosin do not shorten but they slide past each other when myofibril slide past each other myosin filament shorten while the actin filament do not shorten when the myofibril slide past each other actin filament shorten while the myosin filament do not shorten you have to find out the option that best explains the sliding filament theory so the correct answer is option b best explains the sliding filament theory actin and myosin filament do not shorten but they rather slide past each other question number 13 which of the following statement is not correct goblet cells are present in mucosa of the intestine and secrete mucus oxyntic cells are present in mucosa of stomach and they secrete hcl SNI are present in pancreas and they secrete carboxypeptidase Brunner's gland are present in submucosa of stomach and they secrete pepsinogen you have to find the statement which is incorrect so the correct answer is option D is incorrect question number 14 a chemical signal that has both endocrine and neural role is calcitonin epinephrine cortisol or melatonin chemical signal that has both the function of endocrine and neural roles 
So the correct answer is option B, epinephrine. Question number 15. Gastric juice of infants contain which of the following enzymes? Nuclease, pepsinogen, lipase, pepsinogen, lipase, renin, amylase, renin, pepsinogen, or maltase, pepsinogen, renin. Which of the following set of enzymes are present in the gastric juice of small infants? So the correct answer is option B. Pepsinogen, lipase, and renin are the enzymes that are present in the gastric juice of infants. So those are the MCQs for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of MCQs from the next unit of NCRT Biology. So do read all the chapters of next unit before attempting tomorrow's MCQ video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you're new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.